Hello and welcome. I'm pleased to be here with Professor Ahmed Daoud Oglu, the former Prime Minister and former Foreign Minister in Turkey. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for joining us. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank you very much. 113 days, we all watching a live genocide in Gaza. 26,000 killed, more than 70,000 injured, and almost 2 million people in Gaza have been displaced. Yes. Um, how, how, do you, how do you see, how do you comment on this live genocide? First of all, I want to salute heroic brothers and sisters in Gaza. No other people could defend their homes, their families, their country in such a strong way. In fact, many who blamed Palestinians to start the attack 7th of October, which is not true, the history did not start. 7th of October, there is, there, are, uh, there is 75 years before. But most of the people were expecting that Israel will uh, uh, clean, I mean, de will defeat uh, these heroic uh, people on the ground. But they are still resisting. This is very valuable. They are fighting not only for Palestinians, for next generation of Palestinians, but for, not only for Arabs or for Muslims. They are defending human dignity. And this is a test for all humanity everywhere in the world. Israel is committing a genocide. It is not an ordinary attack. I was mediating between Israel and Hamas uh, in 2009 war, 2012 war, 2014. And to 2012, I was in Gaza together with uh, 10 Arab ministers. When the bombardment, Israeli bombardment started, they left Gaza. I was told by my security that we should leave as well. I said, no, we will stay and we will uh, leave the destiny of our brothers and sisters there. And we continued to stay throughout night and I, we went to Sh Shifa Hospital. From that experience, I know how Gazan people are uh, strong uh, in uh, resisting. But this and 2014, as I uh, try to ach achieve ceasefire as a mediator together with our Qatari brothers. Uh, but the difference of this is that, as uh, Israeli Minister of Defense Gallant said, these are the indications of a genocidal mentality. Mm. He said we are fighting against human animals. So they are superhuman and cousins are human animals. This is the genocide mentality itself. No other uh, people or leader before claimed other nation human animal. And he said, I, we do not uh, uh, recognize any restraint. It means they can use any methodology mm. to fight, to eliminate. And he says, we will eliminate everything in Gaza. These are the genocidal pillars. They are there to fight against animals, and they are there to eliminate everything through every weapons. And this is not a crisis of in Gaza anymore. This is a crisis of humanity. 